Hello everyone. This is going to be question number 23 in the book of questions. So question 23 goes, to be financially secure, do you work harder at anticipating risks so you can avoid them, or at building a cushion so you can withstand the unexpected? Which do you think might work better and why? Okay, so personally, uh, I work harder at building the financial cushion. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, there's always going to be some sort of a risk that you can't anticipate. Uh, there's always going to be the chance that something happens that you have no control over or that you couldn't foresee. Uh, that said, I, I don't think uh, I don't think you should necessarily do one to the exclusion of the other. You should uh, definitely put some effort into uh, into considering what potential risks are on the horizon. So, uh, what things that you can anticipate? Um, say. Uh, uh, a situation where a big storm comes in and rips the roof off your house and you have to repair your house or uh, you suddenly fall ill and you can't work anymore like that sort of thing that you, you can make some plans for potentially uh, to figure out uh, what you can do in the, those cases so uh, the storm taking your house apart that's probably you're carrying insurance on your house to guard against most of the perils that could damage your house so that at the very least after a period of disruption uh, you're not completely wiped out. Uh, illness, uh, you're probably carrying some sort of health insurance or you've got a government insurance, a health insurance, depending what country you're in, where you are. Uh, you've probably got something there that you're hedging on that. Uh, you probably uh, like you, you probably got stuff like that going on, but those are the the known unknowns, the things you know that could happen, but you don't know when or if they'll happen. It's the unknown unknowns that kill you, though, uh, or the or the uh, the known ones that the possibilities that you can't really mitigate ahead of time. Those are the ones where you need that cushion. And the bigger the cushion you have, the more easily you can recover from one of those shocks. So if you have something of a cushion and uh, all of the appliances in your house suddenly fail so that you, your refrigerator and stove and, and all of that stuff fails, then you can at least do something to replace them. Uh, now obviously if the cushion is insufficient then you, you've got a problem. So realistically though if I had to pick one or the other I would go for the cushion uh, option because that is a general catch-all uh, solution that can be used to resolve any sort of financial stress. If you have the cushion then you can deal with just about anything. If you don't have the cushion, then you're down to some sort of preventive uh, you, you know, actions. And, and there's always going to be the possibility of something that you can't foresee or that you can't prevent if you do foresee it. Uh, and that, that is, that's why I think overall uh, the, the cushion is probably going to work better in the general case. But there are things where mitigation is eminently possible and in those cases you should definitely do the mitigation. So that's things like preventive maintenance on, on your house. Uh, do the maintenance that, that's necessary to keep things in decent shape and things are less likely to fall apart. Uh, regular maintenance on your car will mean you're less likely to have an expensive repair. Like there, there's a lot of things like that. Um, but there's always the unexpected thing uh, where, uh, uh, you know, something goes wrong. Uh, you break your leg and you can't get, you can't work for a month or you say you're in a construction or something or... Um, 
a sign falls on your uh, car or uh, a meteor makes a hole in your roof or, or whatever. Or it's, uh, you suddenly have uh, an unexpected uh, uh, expense uh, of, of any kind, uh, something that you can't even insure against, like uh, appliances failing. Uh, all of that stuff, uh, you really, uh, like the actual solution to a lot of stuff is to have some money set aside so you can deal with it. So, uh, anticipating risks so you can avoid them, great. If you can avoid a risk, all the power to you. But you can't always avoid the risk. So, uh, I think overall, the financial cushion, if you had to pick one, is probably going to work better. But in reality, uh, if you want the best option, it's a combination of them. Uh, try to anticipate upcoming risks and avoid them, if it's at all feasible. That will certainly uh, stretch your uh, cushion further if you don't have to dip into it. But definitely have that cushion. Uh, simply having it can be... Uh, is actually uh, one of the uh, risk avoidance uh, things that you might be using. So it, it's definitely uh, a good option. Have the cushion if you can at all build one. But always, always try to anticipate upcoming risks. Because if you can do that and you don't have to pay for anything because you avoided a risk, well that's obviously uh, going to be the best. It's just that there's too many things that you can't avoid or you can't even anticipate. That's why I think the cushion will be more effective in general. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's all for this question. I'll just mention uh, quickly that I have a Patreon if you want to support the channel. It's at patreon.com slash lostwizard. And of course, you got the like, comment, subscribe business, and share the video or whatever. And, of course, if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.